Hello Internet. Okay, today I want us to look into the switch statement in JavaScript. We are still continuing with our JavaScript lessons. Okay, we want so we want to demonstrate how to use the switch statement, maybe using Emma integers and also the switch statement like with, when we have a different cases, like for, for an example in a student grading system, right? We want to check to see if the student maybe let me say if the student can maybe got uh twenty percent uh, and we want to do display like maybe it's you if the student got maybe like forty five percent maybe that's that's d maybe if the student got eighty percent maybe that's a that's an a that is what we want to do using the switch statement in JavaScript so without any waste of time let me just go to my uh, to my VS Code because I usually use VS Code when coding in JavaScript. So what I'm going to do in here, I'm just going to create a new file and then maybe save it as the switch switch statement in JS. Right. So what we what is going to happen in here? We want to. We want to see because maybe if we have this much, let me say const I don't think a student mark, let me say it's a eighty percent. This mark when I console it like I log it out like a console log uh maybe create like let me say of mark right when i look at this grade i should get in here i should get in a something like that that is what we want to do so in order for us to be able to achieve this let us start working on the switch statement Right, so we already have the, the student mark right now. So what do we need? We need a function that is going to let like that, that is going to take the mark and then it converts that mark into a grade, right? So without any waste of time, let me create a function and I'm going to call it convert mark to Great. Okay, my naming could be okay. I'm going to take the mark in here like this, and then uh, okay, but then what is happening in here? Expression expected. I think I'm making a mistake in here. What's the mistake that I'm making? Expression expected, expression expected, const convert, not convert. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, it doesn't want me to like make it a constant. Okay, let us continue with a let if it doesn't want uh, a constant identifier. So, yeah, we are, I am taking the mark, right. So I'm just going to switch the mark, but then because I have uh, many instances of the cases, so I'm not going to take in like switching the mark like this, switch, switch mark, because this mark will want me to say case, let me say 20, and then maybe I have to say, uh, okay, Maybe let us say a return uh, you right something like this. But as you can see, this type of uh switch, what it does, it will need me take like to uh, to say uh again. Let me just say. Case thirty, maybe twenty one, 
you understand maybe i'll, I'll also go i'm also going to say case like 22 so that i can get uh you for all of this and again when i want to to like me say uh, include maybe that i'm going to say 30 31 32 so if i have uh like 100 numbers that means I, i'm going to have a hundred cases in here so i don't want to use this the, this strategy so what i'm going to do i'm just going to say switch it true here so that i am just going to validate with a boolean statement in here right so what i'm just going to say now is just let's say case uh mark let me say is greater than zero mm -hmm. yes and mark maybe is less than or equal to date right then this is you this one is going to take each and every number that is between zero and date without me having to define 30 cases in here because if i used the, the to switch in for the marking here i was going to define 30 cases in here i think that what that's what make makes a javascript better than other other programming languages because other problem programming languages when it comes to the switch these cases they tend to to be like a bit difficult to to, to, to deal with so now i'm just going to say mark the second case right is greater than 30 30 in the mark maybe is less than or equal to 50 okay right let us make it fit but then when you do your own maybe grading system like a reality system maybe let me say you want to start from 0 to 20 from 20 to 30 from 30 to 40 from 40 to 50 and from from 50 to 60 i will give me every 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 validation in there but then i'm just going to jump uh, like from 0 to 30 30 to 50 50 to 80 so that you can understand this thing simply so i'm just going to return i'm just going to return in here a a an f right yes yes i'm just going to return an f in here and then break so maybe i'm just defining everything now right i will uh, have to like maybe look into each and every part of the switch which what what do we use this for what is this what is this what is this what is this but then basically we say this is the switch statement this is how we define the switch statement right we say we just say switch and then put in the validation here or the logic in here and then uh, in this between the curly in, in this set brackets and then uh, in here we introduce two curly braces this one and uh, this one which is the opening and the closing one and then in between the curly braces and then this is the body of the of the switch statement and in the switch statement it it has the cases we validate using cases with the switch statement Shows it means that oh, we have a first case, a second case, a third case, up to maybe uh, whatever number of cases you want, right? You 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 are not limited to any like to any to any to any number or to any total. So you can name any number of cases that you want. So what is happening in here? What is expected for your code to run smoothly? Is this break statement each and every case depending on what are you coding but each and every case should have a break meaning that when this or if this is true if this is true you are going to run the code that is in this case which is this code this is the code that is in this case right if this is true you are going to run this code and then after running this code you must break the, the loop or the switch this is not a loop it's a, it's a switch or it's a validation which is we call decision or selection in programming you must break uh, this uh, statement which is the switch statement why do you have to break because if you don't break this thing what is going to do it is going to read this the following one 
it is going to, to continue retaining this f and also if i include the third one in here and then uh, if i include the third one in here it is also going to include this one read this one and then return this one if i say here let me say it's in c and c is less than eight let us just make it that eight right and then here we're just going to make it a fifth okay so if you do not break each each and every case what is going to happen in, in here it will re return this u and, and then it return this f and also it return this c so you are going to get a different uh a different uh a different return cases but then we do not want that we only want to return one if it is true we only return one so let me just make it 80 here and then make it uh, 100 in here and then a hundred should have uh, like an A, right? Or maybe an A star. Uh, okay, let us make it an A. And then the uh, the last statement or the last value or let me say uh, the last uh, statement or that we need to to write in here within the switch statement is the default. The default statement this thing what it does or this default what it does is it checks if maybe your math in here or your whatever validation or your logic in here is it true in any of these cases if it happens that what you put in here is not found in any of these cases right like let me say if you put in here it doesn't doesn't qualify in here, doesn't qualify also in here, and it doesn't also qualify in here, and it also doesn't qualify in here. What, what is going to happen then? You are going to take it here in the default that, like, uh, let me say, return, uh, whatever, let me say, uh, uh, uh wrong input, or, oh mark something like this um mm -hmm. what was happening in here i think opera was trying to open something on the net maybe they, they thought I, I wanted to search for something but then what i wanted to do was this so this is how we run oh this is how we we we, we, we use the switch statement in javascript i think you now understand you just put in uh, okay you can use your function in here because i decided to make it a function but then you can just put this code in any block of code that you want to use this is the switch statement this is what we were looking for right this is this switch it takes the switch statement the logic that you want to switch and then the cases of the logic Meaning that if I wanted to check for like for uh, whether whether if it's a hot or it's cold using the temperatures, I was going to switch by the temperature in here. I was just going to say temperature like this. Temperature. And then here I'm just going to say case, like let me say 20. And then I'm returning whatever or I'm just consoling anything is in in my logic maybe case 20 i'm just going to say a visa hood something like this and then maybe i'm just going to comment this one what is going to happen in here if the temperature that i put in here when i run this switch statement if the temperature is 20 then it is going to print it is hot so i think you understand what why why and what and how do we use the, the 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 switch statement or what do we use the switch statement for it is for validation it is uh it is work in it is it, 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 it works maybe interchangeable with the if statement we are going to look into the if statement if you do not know how to use the if statement in javascript but i have tutorials on if statements in java so you can you can relate and see if uh, 
you are grabbing what I'm talking about. So uh, let me just uh, try to run this one because we have student market in here. So to run this one, I'm just going to call the function, right? I'm just going to log it out. So uh, console log just log, and then convert mark to grade, and then here I'm taking the mark, which is the student mark. Uh, by the look of things, here I must get uh because we said uh, if mark is a uh, is if the mark is greater than fifty, and then less less than or equal to a. So here I must get uh what do you it is a, a C. By the look of things, uh, I need here to get to get a C right. So. If our code runs well, then here we must be able to, to log out AC. So let us just run this code and see if maybe we have made any mistake or anything. But then, oh, okay. What I need to do now is just say no, this switch statement dot js, right? And then wait for it to run and then see okay it's my first run i think yes this is the c so i think our code is running very very well because we have now we have been able to return the c if maybe we can change here and try to make the mark to be 100 so that we can get an a right and then try to run again and see yes we also get we get an a we can maybe do one more thing if the student let me say got uh 20% let us just say the student got 20% and then try to run and then we also get a u which is very very excellent even we can even take a value in between 30 and 50 which is 40 you if you can see here we didn't define 40 but then we can type in 40 and then an f is going to be covered in here let us just do it now uh i'm just going to make it 40 but the student put 40%, right? And then try to run this thing. And then we get an F. I think we are done for this tutorial with this tutorial, right? So what you need to do, guys, try to start uh, this thing afresh. Start from here. Try to write every everything, every line of code in here. And then try to master everything. You can uh, replay the video if maybe you need uh, to reference more. Try to master everything in here. Try to type in, write this and run it. Excuse me, within your, within your note or maybe within your, your JS, so that you understand what's how do we use the switch statement in JavaScript. This is the basic use of this statement. Otherwise, mm, continue supporting the channel, guys, and then continue liking our videos uh we we will like we love you and then uh, we are going to continue producing uh best tutorials for you and also remember that a uh, free tech enterprises is is, uh, is an online online tech provider if you need any any help maybe with technology or with tech just contact every techno enterprises online on fb which is facebook on youtube on uh, instagram on uh, twitter on uh, on any social media platform i think we have our our our, our presence there and our the online lectures and uh, we offer our services on there so i think uh, we are done for the day thank you